Hey guys, Kim here. Hope you are well. Just trying to set up the Mevo down here so I can keep track of everything and see what's going on so I can zoom in, zoom out depending on what's needed. Hope you're all having a lovely, what day is it, Tuesday today. Very dreary and uh, gloomy here in Perth at the moment, a bit of rain. So I'm just double checking that the live is working, making sure that uh, all the tech is on before I drop some bombs on you guys. Um, where are we? Just make sure that we're going live. Cool, we are great. Um, so obviously, I posted up uh, to, about who, uh, what everyone wanted video for this week, and everyone has said that we want the latest in ads. Kim, tell us the secrets. So there's a few things that are going on, and it's funny because someone added on Messenger ads, and obviously we posted about bots and AI as well. Um, just checking on the options that came up. So there's a lot going on at the moment and it always does happen uh, around this time of year, um, basically all the time from Facebook. But in April every year, they have their F8 developer conference, which is where the latest and greatest of Facebook's tech is rolled out, as well as when they start making all the updates. So even today, you may have noticed that for 20 minutes, the whole of Facebook was down, Facebook Workplace, Facebook Ads, uh, Facebook the main uh, platform, desktop platform and mobile platform as well. So there's a lot of things happening and that's because Facebook is always developing, always ongoing. So I'm going to talk about, first of all, some of the latest things I've seen in ads that's happening and I'll talk about as well the latest thing that's happening in other aspects of their platform um, and I'll get you guys, if you're keen, to find out more, we'll comment below as well. So let me know who's here and drop in um, and say hi. So. First of all, looking at ads, what's happening is you'll probably see across the board overall, average cost is starting to increase ever so slightly. You may not be paying $50 a lead, it may be going from $2 to $3 or $2 to $2.20, um, starting to see an increase in the cost. So what's happened is over time is that Facebook ads platform is starting to fill up. What that means is that for every spot that is available, they're indicating by the end of July that every spot that is available on Facebook for bidding, for purchasing, because it's an auction, remember, every spot that is available for bidding will be full, will be filled up. And that means there's a bidder for every spot. Not to say that you can't run ads, but the price will start to increase. So as this competition increases, you'll start to see it increase in your cost per lead, cost per sale, cost per click, and things like that. You'll notice that if you've been doing manual bidding um, on your ads, they'll start to not work anymore because they want the algorithm to take over. So if you've been doing manual bidding, they really want you to use uh, automatic bidding because they have an algorithm that's trying to learn, that's trying to optimize and improve upon things that are happening. So there's a few things that you may start to notice. So if costs are going up, Facebook starting to make these changes, what does that mean for you doing Facebook advertising? Good question, right? So what you need to be focusing on now is number one, increasing your engagement. And how do we do that, right? Because what Facebook is doing is they're going, now, based on the engagement interaction, soon you'll be gonna be able to bid on if people make um, sad faces, if they give you love hearts, if they give you wows, if they give you tears, you're gonna be able to bid on these things because they want people to interact, that's why those um, emotions, emoticons, whatever you want to call them, were added to posts. You see now that even on the, if you like a comment, someone comments, you can give it a heart, you can give it a wow, you can give it all those things to increase engagement. So what the focus needs to be now, instead of saying to someone like, comment, share, you need to be saying like, love, comment, give love on your comments, all these sorts of stuff. You need to start to look at ways that you can start engaging your audience and conditioning them to respond to ads, conditioning them to respond to your posts in certain ways because otherwise you'll be left behind. So other ways to do that are really starting to look at your content that you're putting out, video content, um, regular engaging content, video is the best, live video, obviously we're doing it right now, live video is the best of it all. Um, it gets the most distribution, Facebook loves it the most um, because they're also starting to roll out in-stream ads. So if you're doing live video a lot, you're promoting it, you start to see in-stream, in the middle of a stream, it pausing and you're seeing an ad from someone else. That's why they push it that much at the moment. So you need to make sure that you are starting to utilize this platform, utilize this technology 
to grow your business because otherwise you will be get left behind and you know you just pay a lot more for what you shouldn't have to pay a lot more for so start thinking about how can you engage how can you layer in uh, these engagement uh, not tactics but components to your marketing organically or not to get a really good result so that's what you need to start thinking about because it's starting to have an effect and it's being felt around the world i was just in new york in the facebook and youtube offices I uh, went down to Mexico for a spend a little bit of time there as well, and I'm hearing the same things everywhere I go. Um, you know, it's not just something that's in Australia. It's not just something that's happening in Perth. Um, it's happening around the world because we are pretty much a uni-level platform now, being you can reach anyone, anywhere, anytime. So that's something you really, really, really need to start thinking about. So comment below and let me know, not right now, but let me know what are you going to do in your engagement? What are you going to start doing in your posts, your ads, to try and increase that. And let's have a bit of a bounce around some ideas and feedback with each other to see how we can help each other get really, really good results ongoingly um, and make sure that you know we're not affected by this in any way. Secondly, the second point, I like to keep these live streams pretty short. The second point I wanted to make is around bots and AI because that is not necessarily, and messenger ads, you know, they're not, that's not necessarily something Facebook ads in general. It's a whole platform of itself being Messenger. Messenger has, you know, they say once it reaches over, once something reaches over half a million, uh, half a billion users, 500 million, Facebook then monetizes that platform. That's what they did with Instagram. That's what they're now doing with Messenger. So you need to start to think, how can you increase your interaction and your intimacy and relevancy with your clients or potential clients inside of Messenger? That's the thought process you need to have in your head at the moment because what we're starting to see is more and more people push towards Messenger because Facebook wants people to stay there so then they can monetize it, so then they can sell it to us to run advertising in more and more. So what we need to think of now is going, cool, how can we have a conversation with our clients and potential clients inside of Messenger? Now what we can also do is we can look at how do we automate part of that process? This is not to take away intimacy, this is to increase relevancy and increase interaction so that when they do come to have a buying conversation with you, what you're finding is that the intimacy has already been increased because they feel like they've had that interaction already because it's anywhere from 11 to 17 touch points people need now to be able to buy something online. So if we're running ads, we're sending them to a store, we're sending them to an opt-in page and we wanna get them on a sales call, we're looking for them to buy an online product, whatever it is that you do come in store, we need to have something that starts to interact with them. And as business owners, we're busy. You're busy being CEO, being the chief everything officer, doing everything. Or maybe you're lucky and you're doing, uh, you're just running the business, but you don't have time to be sending constant messenger messages all the time. Or maybe you do, I don't know. But for me, I know, look, that's a, a process that takes a long time. It takes a long time for me. So what I want to do is automate part of that process, which is what Messenger Bots does. So we've been doing a lot of work on that. And you may have seen, uh, I don't know if we posted it up. I'll post the link in below here about, um, hey, Amanda, hope you're doing well. Your social bots. Dot com and I'll tag our page. So we've actually made a whole, um, we've actually created a whole arm to our business called Your Social Bots, creating these for people. So if you, if this is something that you want to learn for your business, if it's something that you want to learn to um, apply, or, or maybe even look at getting it done for you and just understanding the reasons why, what I want you to do is just comment in the comments below. Just say bots. And um, we're putting together some training next week. And what we'll do is we'll send you access to that so you can start to understand and learn exactly what it is, how you can apply it, and then how you can have it done for you and how you can learn it yourself. So that's what I wanted to do for you guys. So just comment bots and I'll teach you those processes and then how, because there's creating bots which can uh, create interaction. And then what we can do is tie that in with ads so that they start working together. So you have an ad um, and you may have seen some of ours recently where you comment on them and then you'll get a message. Um, and things like that. I'm saying automate some processes for you to allow you to have predictable business growth, predictable engagement, predictable lead generation so you can grow your business. So they're the two components I really want to talk about today of what's, you know, what's happening, what's the latest and greatest, and um, what's actually really working. So if you have any questions, as I said, um, Amanda's yet started to hear about the emoji strategy. So guys, you know, give me some love, Amanda, if you think that's right. I'll give you some uh, love on your comment there to see if we you know, don't get some extra engagement. 
So we need to really start layering these things into our marketing. We'd love to hear, Amanda, if you want to comment in as well, how you're using that, like what approach, what uh, process that you're doing. Notice I got very messy here today, sorry. Um, so uh, let's, let's share back and forth and see how we can help each other grow with that. So uh, that's all I wanted to cover today was these processes and strategies and um, tactics, if you will, to start thinking about, to start applying into your business. You can start doing these things. And as I said, just comment below bots and um, we'll make sure that when we have the uh, process ready, the training ready, we'll give you guys first access. Um, so you can give us some feedback and you can start to learn about all these things and how they all meld in together. It's like a melting pot. Um, if you will. So guys, that's it for today. If you have any other questions, comment below, um, share them and I'll get back to you or the team will get back to you or someone else in the group. We've got some amazing people here. We'll also help you out as well. So um, yeah, post up, let us know how everything's going, um, what you have applied or what you're planning to apply. And if you want to know about bots, just comment bots and uh, we'll speak to you all very soon. Thanks guys.